viewers this is just fake network tv a place where you can get the latest information about nigeria news for those who subscribe i want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing we'll say god bless you if you're here to do so please kindly press the subscription button below and now the news in details nigerians to enjoy two months free electricity following the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic in nigeria Electricity distribution companies, discos, have promised to supply electricity to their consumers free of charge for two months. The assurance was contained in a statement issued by the Executive Director, Research and Advocacy of the Association of Nigeria Electricity Distributors, ANED, Sunday Odunto. He said the gesture by the companies which comes in the form of a two-month rebate of free electricity to their, cost to their customers nationwide, was in alignment with the federal government's effort to assuage the pain on the people as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. Mr. Odonton said the decision was in recognition of the challenging effects of the coronavirus pandemic on the economic and daily lives of the customers. Mr. Odunto, who is also the spokesperson for the disco, said details of the implementation will be made public later. We are also completely aligned with the plans to ensure palliative measure, including free electricity supply to all Nigerians for two months to make life easier during the lockdown period, the official said. Details of implementation to come soon. Last week, the House of Representatives called for the supply of free electricity to Nigerians for two months as part of measures to caution the effect of the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown. The House said it was considered a second stimulus bill that will provide Nigerians with free electricity supply for two months. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabia Mila, made a call at a meeting between the National Assembly leadership and the Minister of Finance, Zenab Ahmad, and the Director General of the Budget Office of the Federation, Ben Akabueze, among others. Recall that the Nigerian government had imposed the lockdown on Lagos, Abuja, and Ogun State, while many other state governments have also imposed movement ban on residents to check the spread of the disease. The Nigeria Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, the regulatory authority in the electricity sector, had earlier shipped the takeoff of the new electricity tariff regime earlier scheduled for April 1, 2020. In December 31, 2019, the Commission announced a new multi year tariff order that, that it said would supersede the previous one issued since 2015. The order involved the review of the electricity tariff chargeable by the 11 discos for all categories of consumer in the country except the residential categories R1. On February 29, the Commission again announced the suspension of the takeoff of the new tariff regime. In its given order number NERC-198-2020 on the transition to cost reflective tariffs in the Nigerian electricity supply industry, NESI. NERC announced the decision to delay action for three months till June 30, 2020. The Commission said the decision was in compliance with President Mohamed Buhari's decision to grant moratorium for certain federal government funding facilities throughout the period of the global economic crisis as a result of the current coronavirus pandemic. So guys, what do you think about what the government is about to do? Now they said they're gonna give the whole Nigerian citizens two months free electricity. Wow, I think Nigerians will want more than that. It is not until when the whole situation is like this. It is not until then that we're supposed to be having free electricity, trust me. Normally, as a developed country, we are supposed to be having electricity every day. But the problem that we are having in Nigeria right now is that 
we are suffering from that. And it is not that the government cannot do it. They are capable of doing it. They are capable of providing electricity to all Nigerian people entirely. But the issue that we are having is that they are all criminals. They spend our money anyhow. They embezzle the money. What they are supposed to do, they don't do it at the right time. And now they are saying that they want to provide a free electricity supply. You can imagine. It's just a slap. It's a shame on our Nigerian leaders right now. At least they, I feel that they can do more than that. They can do more than that. It is not until the whole scenario is like this. It is not until then that they will now be saying that they want to provide free electricity. Can't they just copy other country? Look at Kutonu, for example. They always have light every time, every second. They don't lack light, uh, electricity. Even in South Africa, too. Uh, there are also other black countries that are better in terms of their security, in terms of their electricity. But why is it that our government is, is, is a different case entirely? It's just a slap on our Nigerian government. And Nigerians are saying that both of them are criminals. Who is deceiving who? No two responsible adults speaks this way. They said it is a common knowledge, striving, thievery, and rotting government. No hope for the eight years are a, a, a huge waste. Minister of Education in Benue State needs deliverance. I know it's with them. Punishing staff working under an ed education ministry, which none of them is happy. I think I will believe the ex-chief executive secretary, TSB, sooner than better. better. You know, the thing is that they can do more than that. We appreciate the fact that they want to provide uh, two months free electricity. But we Nigerians, we want more than that. We have suffered enough. There has never been a day that Nigerians enjoyed free electricity. Trust me. You know, there has never been a day. And it's just so unfortunate that uh, it is only the civilian, the, I mean, it is only the common man, the civilians, that are suffering from this. All our leaders, the leaders, the top leaders and all of them, they don't experience the issue of uh, taking light off. And it's just a bad thing entirely. That we people are the ones suffering from all these things that, that is going on in the country right now. You know, I wish they can do better. And I know that they have the capacity, they have the strength, and they have the money to do better. It's just a bad thing that we hear that our country is just full of corruption. And they are not ready to adjust. They are not ready to learn from their mistakes. At least, the thing that really baffles me is that... Uh, all those leaders, they travel all around the world. They see how, they are, how the country is full of good electricity. They see the road. They see everything. Why can't they inculcate those things and bring back to Nigeria and just develop their own country? Instead of going to other countries and enjoying all the things there and then just keep quiet and embezzle our money. I see no reason why they cannot develop their country. Nigerians has been curated has been curated years back. At least we are older than Kutono, we are older than some than some African countries. And those ones they are better than us. But we will remain to stay stagnant. Nigerians remain to stay stagnant because of our leaders, because of our corrupt leaders, because of our corrupt people leaders that are investing money everywhere. You know. The, the, the heart of Nigerian citizens is, is not part of their concern at all. It is just a slap. So, guys, what do you think about this news? What is your own take? Your comment is highly appreciated. And kindly drop your comment at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. If you're yet to do so, please kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, you will be the first person to listen to our latest news. God bless you. We say God bless you once again. We appreciate your comments and we say thank you for this great work for making the ch our channel a success. And please don't forget to press the notification button once again. Stay safe. Bye.